Hi, I'm Craig Birch here at Manager Real Estate Headquarters on the Compton Road in the heart of Wolverhampton with five things you need to know about shared ownership. This is an we've seen a lot of these actually, we've seen a lot of these advertised, they're cropping up more and more on right move these days, shared ownership, where you pay, you get a mortgage on a percentage of a property and you pay and then probably pay the outstanding balance on that. Let's just go through five of the things you really should need to know. Number one, I was just about to go away with myself there. Number one, what does shared ownership mean? It means that rather than buy the full equity of a property, you take out a mortgage on a percentage of its valuation, which can be between 25 and 75%. Basically, you get a mortgage for the percentage of the figure that you are going. A housing association or something like that would own the rest of it and you make some sort of arrangements with them to buy them out down the line. Maybe when you've got a bit more cash, so it's just a good way to get on the property ladder if you really can't afford the full price for a house and look to buy back the difference down the line. There are some dangers you need to be aware of, a few pitfalls, if you will, that you need to think about, which I'll go through. Number two, you will still, what would I need to do? You would still need to save a deposit, you'll still have all the legal fees, such as conveyancing, such as stamp duty land tax, if it's applicable to you. It's got to be up to 300,000 that pounds now as a first time buyer for that to be applicable to you. So maybe not so much. And there's also likely to be service charges. If it's an apartment or flat, and there will almost always be a leasehold property. So you'll have ground rent to pay as well. So that's what it's gonna cost you before you've even taken the mortgage into account. Number three, how do I qualify? You are eligible for a shared ownership mortgage if you're a first time buyer or your house or income is no more than 80,000 pounds a year. I'd love to earn 80,000 pounds a year. That's 90,000 pounds in London as well. But, so, but if you were earning 80,000 pounds a year, you probably wouldn't need a shared ownership property either, unless you're in London, of course. But military personnel get priority as well. That's so if you're just coming out of the army or something like that, they will try and look after you as much as they possibly can. There is an older people scheme too. And I think that's rent free after a 75% fee has been paid and it's rent free for the occupants from there on in. But bear in mind, not all of the banks do offer these products, so mortgage wise, so do look into that as well. Number four, what does staircasing mean? Staircasing, to call it a term, is to send the increase in percentage of the home you own up until such time as you own 100% of the property. So basically, it's, it's the process. Originally, you take out 75% mortgage on the shared ownership scheme, it's how you buy back the other 25%, the deal you strike to buy back the remaining percentage of your property. It's what they call staircasing, and that is something you're gonna to have to do if you ultimately want to want to own all of the property in the very end. Number five, how do I sell a shared ownership scheme home? Well, that is a very, very good question, actually. The first thing you have to do is give the housing association or the company that you struck this deal with first refusal, they can relist it under the same terms. They can put it for another shared ownership scheme. Normally it tends to be up for about eight weeks. They might even decide to put it on the open market, but they need to have first refusal and they will have their own valuations and so on, their own fees and services. That might bring down the price of what you think you've got to get for your home. It can be done with shared ownership, but you've got to go through the housing association and a company first. Is shared ownership for you? Look out there, there's plenty of products and so on, but do come and see us here at Managed Real Estate if you're thinking of selling a shared ownership home, and we'll come and see what we can do for you. I'm Greg Birch, we'll see you next week.